On this video, I'll show you how to use Helium Scraper to get some information from the web. First thing we need to do is create some kinds. Kinds are the way to tell Helium Scraper what is what in the web page. So, we're going to select a few of these links and create a kind called links. We're going to use these links to navigate inside of each of them and extract some information from this page. Then, let's create another kind that will select the next button. Let's just call it next. Now, let's go to one of these pages and create the kinds we're going to extract from there. I'll create one for the address, one for the price, one for the description, and one for the picture that we're going to download. Now, the picture is not going to turn purple when selected. You can tell it's selected because it is in our selection list down here. Now, let's go to another page and see if our kinds are working there. I'm going to try to select the address here by clicking on the Select Kind in Browser button. And it didn't select anything. This is because we only used one address as a sample. So Helium Scraper thinks we just want that particular address. What we need to do is to select another address and add it to this kind by clicking on the Add Selection to This Kind button. Now, this list on the left is a list of properties that are common to every element we have added to this kind. So if we go to another page, it will also select the address. Now let me do the same for these other kinds. Okay, now we're ready to create some actions. First, I'm going to create and navigate each action that will navigate through each of our links. I'm going to require 10 items, so it'll let us know in case it doesn't find the links. Then, inside this action, I'm going to create an extract action. We want to extract address, price, description, and picture. For the picture, we need to change the property to source attribute, which contains the actual address of the picture, and check download. Now, let's add a navigate action to navigate through the next button. I'll require one item. Let's repeat five times so it navigates through five pages. So this is our data as it's being extracted. The pictures column right here contains the file names of the downloaded pictures, which are being stored right here. OK. When we created our next kind, we only used one next link. So Helium Scraper is not finding the next link on this page. So let's pause. Add this next link to our kind. And continue. 